Today, I'm joined by the third overall selection from the 2019 WHL draft. He was the captain of his Bantam team that season. Just happened to be the same team that the fourth overall selection to the same club the Prince George Cougars played on. That's Cohen Zimmer. But this is the third overall pick, Keaton Dalhaniak. How are you doing today? Pretty good, pretty good. How are you? I'm doing very well. I can't complain. It's a beautiful day here in Calgary. Uh, but what have you been doing right now? It's been such a weird year in the fact that we haven't been able to play. We were able to play, you know, some minor hockey, a little bit of junior A, and now we're not able to play again here in the province of Alberta. So what are you doing to stay, stay in shape, stay healthy and get ready for the start of the WHL season? Yeah. So obviously it's a different off season than normal. So, um, I've been out at the ODR with some buddies, um, probably four times a week and then working out here at home. Well, you're lucky in the fact that your older brother Logan's played in the Western Hockey League with the Edmonton Oil Kings. Are you able to train with him and just get any advice on what he learned in his first season in the Western Hockey League as you prepare? Yeah, um, he helps me. He pushes me in the gym. Um, he, he's, he's there for me. I mean, um, not much else I can say about him. But uh, Well, let's, let's ask you this. Who's <laughs> going to be the next season? Who's going to have more points, you or him? I don't know. I, we might have to make a bet on that one. <laughs> that wouldn't be bad. Well, you did go third overall. You were actually the first pick for defensemen. So we could say you're the first overall pick among defensemen in the 2019 yeah. WHL draft is one way to look at it. But for people who haven't seen you play before, can you describe the type of player that you are? Um, I think I'm a pass first kind of guy. Um, well skater. I like to play physical, um, move the puck up north. That that kind of attitude. And you're going to learn from a few very good coaches who've had a lot of experience at the NHL level, including Jason Smith, who played over a thousand games, was the captain of the Edmonton Oilers for many seasons. Uh, when you went to training camp last last year and you got to meet the coaching staff for the first time, uh, what were your takeaways from that training camp experience and, and what did you learn moving forward into last year? Um, there's a lot of work that, that goes behind the scenes. Um, I felt the vets, the vets uh, welcomed me nice and well uh, into camp, so that helped as well. Uh, coaches, they uh, they like to talk to me, so um, all positive, positive um, reinforcement from them. So, well, looking back on last year, when you came back to OHA Edmonton, you had quite a good season in 25 games. You had 22 points, but you also got eight regular season games with the Prince George Cougars. Can you describe that first game and the jitters and what was going through your mind before puck drop uh, for your first game with the Cougars? Oh, it was it was pretty nuts. Um, it was in Portland uh, during their teddy bear toss game. So uh, it was a big warm up crowd. Um, me and Cohen were actually both out there for uh quick little lap in warmups but I mean the jitters went away right after first uh first shift I kind of felt comfortable out there it was nice playing out there though but the atmosphere was it's really fun was that in the Moda Center and the veterans uh that was in the older rink I'm oh, not sure. okay yeah. yeah, that's the Veterans Memorial. I mean, one day, hopefully, you'll get to play in Moda. It's where the Trailblazers play. It's an incredible yeah. rink. And uh, as somebody who got healthy scratched quite a bit when he played in the Western Hockey League, yeah. one of the best video scoreboards in the league. So I don't think you'll have to worry about that. But uh, for anybody else who's listening who might not play a lot, they will. But mm -hmm. let's move away from the rink. Let's get to know you a little bit more. Uh, I've been asking this question a lot. Who is an athlete that you admire? Um, Eric Carlson. I like the way he plays, uh, smart player, offensive D-man. I like to model my game after him, as well as Drew Doughty. <laughs> oh, a couple player. pretty good players to model your game after right there. Uh, the, the Tokyo Olympics, unfortunately, were postponed. But if there was a sport outside of hockey at the Olympics, what do you think you'd excel in? Um, this one might be a weird one, but probably swimming. <laughs> I'm a pretty, pretty good swimmer, so I don't know. Hey, we got the next Michael Phelps up in Prince George this year. And then my last <laughs> question for you, uh, a lot of these younger guys that love to play video games, is there a video game that you enjoy playing? Um, NBA 2K21. That's a big game. Me and my buddies go at that all the time. <laughs> oh, that's a great one. I think, uh, I think most of the kids in the league will be playing that one too. So you guys will have a lot of competition up in PG <laughs> this year. But Keaton, again, congratulations on the success that you've had so far in your career. And I wish you the best of luck to yourself and your family as you continue along your path and you, you continue on to your end goal of one day making the NHL. So thank you so much and have a great week. Thank you. Thank you for having me.